Sports Lab Train. Welcome back today, guys. Forza Horizon 3 with the Play Seat Car Pack. If you guys don't know, it dropped on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be driving some cars today with the wheel. Now, this is something that I've been really excited for. Last video, we were just kind of around, you know, just cruising, talking about the cars in a party. Today, we're offline, and there's been issues with the server for whatever reason. Uh, you know, some people I actually were hearing that, you know, they got half the update. Some people can't even get online. Some people can't even download it. I don't know if you guys are having issues issues with this if you are leave it down in the comment section would love to know how many people are affected by this i just can't get online i got the update fine but and the servers have just pretty much been down for the duration since it came out so i don't understand really what's happening hopefully it will be fixed soon today though we're going to be taking some first drives with these brand new cars to the game now starting off with the db11 and this aston martin is going to haul some ass we are s1805 608 horsepower on this thing v12 it's going to rip man i'm pretty excited we're then going to go probably over to the hdt vk commodore group a if you guys don't know it's the honda dealer team and so i'm pretty hyped for today for this episode ladies and gentlemen we may even finish it off with the type r or the cadillac ats i'll see what's going down you know i'll see how i'm feeling for this episode ladies and gentlemen if you'd like to keep seeing forza rising today on the channel don't forget to slap that like button now, of course, starting out for today, would it be right if we did not have a large double-double from Tim Hortons? And uh, something special, actually, for today. We're going to roll this up before we are finished. But uh, roll up the rim is back at Tim Hortons. So I'm really excited. Uh, the prizes, though, we could win uh, one of 40 2007 Civics, man. So that's pretty cool. It's not the Type R, unfortunately. But we can also win a 4K TV. I could definitely use that. $5,000 prepaid cards. It'd be pretty damn nice. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm hoping... For just a damn coffee man and i need a drink of this first before i do so i've won twice so far man let me know if you guys are in canada eh? let me know if you guys have won anything on the roll up the rims uh my luck hasn't been the greatest this year but uh i mean i feel though it's better than last year because i was actually having a lot of issues winning and i just it took me so long to end up doing so so i'm just happy that at least we're taking home a few winners early on in the year now First impressions of this DB11, uh, she's nice as shit, man. She definitely is. The orange on this is beautiful. Now, I did speak about this last episode, but this car is specifically designed for downforce. And you guys can kind of see that back end there. Um, it does kind of curve out to the spoiler. And there is a reason for that because all the wind that is coming into the car is actually getting directed to the C-pillars of the car. That back window that's right there, right on the C-pillar. And it's actually flowing out to the spoiler. So it's really cool to see that we have pretty much an active arrow on that rear spoiler without actually having a spoiler on it. So that's really cool. A little timbit here on the DB11. I'm just going to try and throw this out. Remember, this is a stock tune and stock upgrades on here. Nothing has been touched. Obviously, we have a shit ton of power to begin with, but uh, I almost blew that. I almost tossed it in the first gear by accident. Don't ever do that, man. It's bad news. Almost took out an R34 as we do so. Now, I'm going to be honest. I really enjoy these cruises when we do go on these. Um, you know, it's just something that we can just test out some stock cars. I'm going to T-bone this guy. Oh, he turned at the last second. I was not letting off. So if he wanted to T-bone me, you do you, boo-boo. But I was not getting T-boned. I'm going to toss this. See if we can extend it. It's third gear, the steering angle, everything about this car I'm really enjoying right now. I'm not trying to really follow the uh, street rules. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm staying at least on the road. What I would like to know from you guys, though, down below is uh, what car would you like to see be built on the channel for our first online session? And that's something that I've been kind of thinking about. I'm leaning maybe towards the Holden just because uh, that thing looks pretty damn badass, man. I'm really excited for that Holden, and we're going to definitely be getting a first drive with that here for today. And that Civic, man. I'll be doing some drag racing with the Civic. For sure, uh, that's something that you know, I've been really excited for. The Type R has been a long-awaited car in Forza, I feel. You know, we had it back 
on Drive Club, and just nobody else decided to throw it into the game until now. So um, it's pretty cool to see, you know, I guess everybody catching up to Drive Club, if you will, but let me know your thoughts about the pack. Oh, we just trade tapped that shit. Oh my god. That was pretty damn crazy, man. We're gonna try to get a little top speed run here. See if we can max this thing out too. Oh my god, goes in like butter. Now obviously, uh, if you were Oh, what the hell was that? You alright? Now the transmission on this car, of course, uh, we would not find a damn standard gear stick in this car. We do have the paddles. I do believe it's an 8-speed transmission. Uh, we're not going to be able to get up to 8 speeds with the setup that we are running, but at least I can put it into 7th gear if I do want. We're just kind of cruising right now, man. This is the old man gear if you're trying to cruise the highway here on Forza Horizon 3, but we're going to drop it down. We're doing 142. Let's drop it into 4th, maybe? That's six. Okay, get wrecked. Now, I gotta be honest, man. I'm a big fan of the body style on this DB11. I really do enjoy the front fenders. You can kind of see it almost has, not like a spaceship style look to it, but it's definitely a futuristic style look. Almost like a concept car would look, you know, back maybe 10, 15 years ago. And I really do enjoy that, you know, now that these are kind of, you know, starting to come out as production vehicles. But, um, first thoughts on this DB11? I'm happy with it, man. We're gonna throw this out one more time. Get a little 360 in the middle of the street. Drop it in the second. Ooh, those curves, though, vicious, man. Clutch kick it. Bring it out. Second gear is instant power. Don't have to worry about pretty much anything. That third gear will stutter a little bit. If you're not going quick enough, we're going to try this right here. Drop the hand. Oh, tell me this is where the dick fireworks are. Come on. Please, man. I seen that. Oh, right there. Look at it. Oh, my God. Somebody screwed up so bad. Man. I've been seeing that comment on one of the videos that I had previously uh, where somebody was saying that there's a dick in the sky, man. And, well, there's a Johnson right there, man. As soon as that pops up, where is it? Right there, man. There's the Johnson. Oh, my God. All right, now, before we finish with this DB11, we got to do one final test to really decide if this car is worth it to me, at least. And that is going to be a roundabout test. Now, this is not really the biggest roundabout. We're going to hit it from this way. Let's see what happens. Excuse me. Second gear, getting a little bit of understeer. Try it in third. Ooh, there we go. Holding that outside. Just keep this going. Keep that chain alive, man. A little Don Juan song right there. Shout out to you, my dude. And uh, my chain did not stay alive. Wrecked myself. That's why I'm not Don Juan right there, man. If you guys are saying slap, who the hell Don Juan, man? Well, check the link down below. You'll find out. Man produces some uh, beastly Forza content. I'm pretty sure the man's not even human, but I've got a nice little corner up here. Look at those damn fireworks. They're going ham with those fireworks. What is happening? Excuse me. Oh, shit. Yep. We're okay. We got her. We got her. Let's bring it down to fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get on our next ride, though, man. Our next car up is the Commodore. Now, this is actually Peter Brock's replica car, if I'm not mistaken. And it's actually tuned by the Holden dealer team. Now, um, I gotta be honest, I really do enjoy the look of this car. It's a, what the? Come on, man. Just trying to use the damn light, considering, uh, you know, it's a little dark out here today. Maybe even be an Uber driver for the day. I don't know. I'm just saying, man. Imagine getting picked up in this thing. I'll be pretty happy. Now, this is a pretty damn historical car after looking into this. Now, I will leave a link down below for you guys to check this thing out. Um, however, though, I do believe Forza made a mistake with this version. Now, don't quote me on this. I'm just kind of assuming. Now, the car that I was looking at, the Blue Mini, was an SS version. It actually was badged as such on the front fenders. I don't see the SS badge on here. Now, if you guys can kind of, you know, let me know down below why they didn't go with the SS badge, because I know Forza is pretty damn spot on with their cards. Now, they don't usually make mistakes. Uh, so I feel that there is a reason why this version does not have that SS badge. Maybe it's not Peter Brock's car in particular. Maybe this is a different style holding, but, um, you know, it looks pretty damn similar, man. You know, the blue paint. And, uh, you know, this looks almost identical. Plus, it's also tuned by HDT. So, you know, that's another reason why it leads me to believe that this is his car. So, if you guys can let me know in the comment section as to why it's not on the front fenders, that'd be greatly appreciated. But, um, remember, this thing is stock right now. And it's not, you know, it's holding up not bad. 
We have a 5 liter V8 in this thing, so I was really hoping for a little bit more power out of this, but, uh, you know, we get what we get, and we don't get upset, but um, it is pretty cool to, you know, to see where Holden is going and, you know, where they've came from. And as I said, though, I will leave a link down below that kind of explains the HDT. Um, you know, it just kind of gives you, you know, it sheds light on the entire scene, you know, who is running it, who's behind it, and where they're going in the future. It'll show their past cars as well, too, that they've done. But uh, the squad has been doing some big things right now, and this Holden is an example of exactly that. Uh, another thing that I want to touch base on for today is do you guys know if there is a new barn find? And also, too, has Forza finally updated the wheel spins with the Forza Horizon Edition cars? Now, you guys know I have been pretty much on strike for Forza Horizon 3 with the wheel spins just because of the fact that, you know, they've not added in anything. It's always been the same, and it's nothing's changed. So I've been seeing some pictures of a Supra. Um, so that looks pretty interesting. I don't know if they've added any others, but I don't remember there being a Supra in the wheel spin. So if you guys can let me know about that, I'd really be appreciated. But we're going to go ahead and throw this in. Oh, my God. It's terrible, man. It's so slow. But inject a few hundred horsepower into this and, uh, you know, guaranteeing this thing will be hauling some ass down the road. Now, what I would like to do, actually, I'm going to take this thing to the parking lot simulator to see how it throws down in the lot, man. All right, now before we finish up here, I know my coffee isn't done exactly, but I wanted to at least roll this up for you guys to see how this is going to go. So, roll up the rim to win or lose. Did we, oh, we, we, we won! Oh my god, I got a donut! I'm so hyped! That's a donut right there, ladies and gentlemen. We have won a donut. So let's say you actually want a coffee on your roll-up. You can actually exchange that for any hot beverage of any size. I don't know if you guys know that or not. It took me a few years to figure that out, but I mean, you can get an extra large French vanilla if you wanted to, and that's kind of what I do. I save them all up and just grab a bunch of damn French vanillas for, you know, the end of the year or whatever if I want, but extra large French vanillas, uh, you can't go wrong, or I mean, like I said, any hot beverage is possible, uh, except for maybe the specialties with like the whipped cream and all that, but you guys know what I'm talking about, man. It's just, it's a pretty cool thing that they allow you if you don't drink coffee, uh, you know, just to get kind of whatever you want, but, you know, just a Canadian trying to help out another fellow Canadian if you guys are watching. Uh, if you guys are from America or wherever else and you're saying, well, slap, I don't really give a shit about roll up the rim to win, well, uh, I'm sorry, man. I got nothing else for you. I'm up here in Canada, so, I mean, sorry to break it to you, but, um, I don't know if Dunkin' Donuts does that or not, but uh, I'll tell you what, though, Tim Hortons. Oh, actually, maybe maybe Dunkin' Donuts does, man. I'm not going to count them out just yet, but, uh, you know, does Dunkin' Donuts do anything for you guys in, you know, the festive seasons? Oh, my God! Does it hold anything for you guys to win any time out of the year? I don't know, man. I don't have Dunkin' Donuts here. I have tried Dunkin' Donuts a few times. Uh, I did like their coffee, to be completely honest. Um, I didn't really mind their donuts and such, but it didn't, I probably went to one that they didn't make any fresh donuts for a while, so I had a pretty damn crappy donut, but whatever, man, we're going on to our next car for today, and I feel I should be driving the Type R to finish this off, man. Alright, guys, we are here with the damn Civic Type R. Now, I've been pretty excited to hear this VTEC crack on this K20. Uh, we got Brembo's on here, we have an LSD differential, and we have some over-exaggerated aero, but uh, it's all functional on this thing, so I'm really excited. I mean, like I said, I would love to have one of these in real life. I probably wouldn't pay for it just because it's a four-door Civic Type R. I mean, the thing's a beast, no doubt, but, you know, it just, the styling of it isn't really something of a sporty feel, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm rambling on about. We're going to drop the hammer on this thing. Seven and a half grand. Ooh, okay. 305 brake horsepower, if I'm not mistaken, roughly around those numbers. Turbo K-Swap, or k I keep saying K-Swap, man. K-Series. Turbo K-Series on this thing. And we are moving right now, though. Wow, we almost died. 140. I'm going to whip this thing sideways, front-wheel drive, and let's see what happens. We're just going to throw it in. Oh, okay. Now, I got to be honest, uh, I was expecting a lot more understeer on that corner, man. The differential on this thing stock is phenomenal, though. Holy shit. Look at this. It just grips up. I mean, we're not going the fastest, but you guys kind of get what I'm saying, though, in terms of that. We're going to yank the handbrake, though. Oh, shit. Bad idea. Bad idea. Don't hit it. I didn't, I didn't touch it. Now, of course, if you have a front-wheel drive car, uh, you got to do some donuts, man. Look at this shit. A little back. What? Where? 
Shall I set a route there for you? Oh, go! Yes! Yes! That's probably a new one! That's seven point Oh my god, I went the wrong way. I'm going, girl, I'm going. Here we go. Hold on, though, because I didn't even get to hear this damn VTAC crack here. Hold on. Almost died. Hmm. I'm not I'm not really hearing that crack that I'm waiting for. What? Where's my VTEC? Do you hear any VTEC at all? Because I don't hear shit. Let's try it again. Boost just... Oh my god. Instant boost though on this thing. Instant. Here we go. Is it just me or is there no VTEC? We should be cracking VTEC, man. Oh my god. I'm so disappointed right now. I don't see the increase and in, you know, five, six grand where it'll just wah, like, what the, oh my god, I'm so disappointed. There's no way, man. God damn, you know what? Screw it, I'm throwing this thing in. Yep, new barn find is all the way up here. All right, we're going to go ahead and let's just fast travel right on the waypoint. What if it's right there? That'll be pretty stupid if it just says, here, come on down to the uh, good old barn find. We're open up, you know, nine to five, Monday to Friday. Let's make sure you spawn right on our location. So you don't have to work for it. I mean, I know it's thing right now, Slap. Well, just don't spawn the location, but but I mean, it's the same thing with the rewinds. If we have them, why not use them, right? And I mean, if Forza is going to give us the ability to spawn right at the damn barn find, I'm going to do it, right? I mean, that that's all I'm saying. Um, I guess this isn't it, unless it says it right here. It said it was right over this ridge, right? That's what I thought I saw. We're in the middle of the damn desert, though, almost. Look at this. Well, not desert. You know what I'm talking about, man. The Outback. Whatever. It's got to be right here. This is it. Has to be. Whew. Yes. I don't know if this is new, though. Don't be crossing your fingers, because I don't know. What you got Best for part me? part of my job, right here. What you got? Oh. Whoa. I don't... Old Land Cruiser. Nice. I don't think we have this. You can't kill a Land Cruiser. They kept bringing out new models, but they really shouldn't have bothered. All the ones from the 70s are still running fine. Got a damn Land Cruiser, man. Okay, I was about to say Land Yacht for a second, but same thing, right? I mean, I guess. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for I'll this episode, man. To Toyota FJ40. I'll let you know when you can have it. Okay. We just scaled down a mountain. Yeah, look at that, man. We are scaling down mountains with this Type R. Oh, my God. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to slap that like button. We're going to be back here with some online content with the crew for next episode. And uh, we're going to put these cars to the test, do a nice little drift build with them, and uh, really see how they can get down in the corners, man. But if you guys are still here, though, like I said, don't forget to slap that like button. I really do appreciate the support on the channel as well as you guys follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are found down below this thing goes through water like butter if you guys did not notice oh my god that's pretty much it though forza horizon 3 play seat oh my god play seat car pack i'm out peace I got four cars and they all black got four bras and they all that we call that balling doing this is my calling flow is so appalling my phone off and she calling i'm like yeah what it do? Penthouse, man, what have you?